Today we will discuss the diode equation. Diode equation means when the PN junction they are forward bias or reverse bias if we apply the voltage then what will be the form of what is the current or we can say how the current is related to voltage when PN junction is made forward bias or reverse bias this we have to see by driving the diode equation so P there are holes and their electrons PN junction in the P the minority carriers are electrons electrons are the minority carrier in P and holes are the majority carriers holes are major in N type electrons are the majority carriers electrons are major and holes are minor in the depletion region there is no hole or electron So let we say the electron which are minor in P as NP, the electron which are major in N, they are NN. NP will be less than NN because NP is the number of electron in the P and NN is the majority carriers in the N type. So naturally NP less than less than NN. Now NP and NN, they are related with NP is equals to NN exponential minus EVP upon eta KT so VP is the barrier voltage K is Boltzmann constant T is temperature in Kelvin eta is factor depending upon germanium or silicon E is the charge so exponential because it is negative we can write in a denominator this expression tells that NP is inversely proportional to this factor. Or we can say NP less than NN because NN divided by some factor is NP. So NP is less than NN. Now if we apply the forward bias, so electron will diffuse from the N side to the P side. Now in the P side, number of the electron will increase. Let the forward bias which is applied, it is V. So number of electron will increase in the P region and becomes NP plus delta NP. Delta NP is a small fraction which is increased due to the forward bias. So NP plus delta NP is NN exponential of E VP minus V. Now denominator is decreased. So that's why NP plus delta NP it is increased. Denominator decreased by VP minus V. Okay. Now we can write the denominator part in the numerator. Like NN exponential of Uh, with exponential of minus e because we are writing it in a numerator so it is in with the negative sign np plus delta np is nn exponential of minus e vp upon eta kt now splitting this factor exponential of minus minus plus ev upon eta kt so this is uh, the equation, this is the equation number 2. Okay, this is the equation number 1. Now subtracting 1 from 2. If we make subtraction 1 from 2, it becomes, it becomes delta NP equals to 
delta NP becomes equals to by subtracting NN exponential of minus E minus E VP upon eta KT taken as common and what left inside exponential E V upon eta KT minus 1 minus 1 so this is delta NP you know delta NP is what delta NP is small electron small number of electron diffused from N side to P side and constituting the current constituting a current and uh, that current is I E in the P region so this is electron current in the P region so I E is written as delta N P you know current equals to N E A V D the current with drift velocity or delta N P which we already derived it is equals to N N E N N exponential of minus E V P upon eta K T then exponential of E V upon eta K T minus 1 now the relation of current with number density you know here n denotes the number density the current equals to number density delta n p e a v e v is the drift velocity of the electron substituting here delta n p so substitution this becomes keeping in mind that uh, n n n p n e all their number densities not only number so this is constant factor let we denote it by let it is denoted by c e so i e becomes equals to c e exponential of e v upon eta k t minus one this is a very important equation of the current this is the electron current electron diffusion current produced because of some electron that diffused from n side to the p side similarly you can find the other way around that when some hole diffused from p side to the n side that becomes i h diffusion current i h is the diffusion current n side from p side to n side so i h equals to c h exponential of e v upon eta k t minus 1 so this is electron current whole current and CH similarly you can define as already we did for C E so C H E E A V H N H N H is again number density of holes V H is drift velocity of the hole so total current is the sum of electron current plus hole current so I E equals to C E plus C H bracket exponential of E V upon eta K T minus 1. Let C E plus C H denoted by I S. I S is called reverse saturation current. So this is reverse saturation current exponential E V upon eta K T minus 1. This is very important expression. Today we will discuss the 
diode equation. So I is equals to I s. I s is reverse saturation current. Exponential of V upon eta k t eta k t upon e is written in a denominator. You know why? Because k t upon e the dimension is that of the voltage. K t upon e dimension wise it is voltage. So it is called thermal voltage because there is a term of temperature denoted by V t. Vt is the thermal voltage which is equals to kT upon E. So if we take the temperature 20 degrees Celsius, so 20 plus 273 is 293 Kelvin. Now substituting Vt becomes equals to kT upon E. T is 293, Boltzmann constant, fixed numeric value e is fixed. So Vt becomes 0 0.025 volt. This is the value of Vt. Okay. Vt substituting it here. I becomes equals to Is. Exponential of 0 0.025. Okay. Not 0 0.025. This is wrong. So again it is written as. I equals to Is. Exponential of. V upon eta and here it is 0 0.025 okay and it is in volt this is in volt this is in volt now if we consider the semiconductor as germanium for germanium eta is equals to 1 and i becomes i s exponential of eta is 1 and 1 over 0 0.025 is 40 so this is 40 into v v mean volt so by substituting v we can find current now in silicon eta equals to 2 so it becomes exponential 20 v V it is in volt, whatever the forward bias or reverse bias applied. So I equals to I s exponential of V upon eta into V t minus 1. So this is the current. This current is related to V t. V t is set in denominator. So I becomes again a function of temperature because Vt is a function of temperature. Vt changes with temperature. So I remains a function of temperature. This is the main drawback of the semiconductor like whose current are dependent on T. Okay. So if the if we consider the forward bias, forward bias, I remain a function of T and I increases with temperature. I increases with temperature. During reverse bias, there is a problem in reverse bias because the saturation current, it approximately doubles for every 10 celsius rise in temperature this is this is the main drawback of uh, the semiconductor because reverse passing current doubles for every 10 degrees celsius rise of temperature and one thing more to remember germanium is more sensitive more temperature dependent you know why because it's the reverse saturation current is higher saturation current is higher as compared to the higher as compared to the silicon so that's why mostly silicon is used not the germanium because germanium is more 
sensitive to temperature okay now we are writing the above expression for the forward bias taking this expression here and uh, for forward bias v is positive for forward bias v is positive so expression v upon eta vt greater than greater than 1 so 1 is neglected and i becomes equals to i mean if mean forward current forward current becomes equals to is exponential of v upon eta vt so this is the most and very important equation for forward biasing for reverse biasing v is taken as negative v negative therefore exponential v upon eta vt will be less than less than 1 so the whole expression exponential over v upon eta vt is neglected as compared to 1 so this exponential is neglected as compared to 1 for reverse biasing so what happens i becomes equals to is minus is so if we draw a graph in reverse biasing you know this is the